What's going on, everybody? It's Jacob Myers from the Southern Outdoorsman Podcast. Today, I've got Greg Mayhair here from Meadow Creek Mounts. We're going to be sighting in my shotgun, adding a new red dot, the new Defender ST model from Vortex, using one of the Meadow Creek Mounts on our shotgun and show you a very easy way to sight in your red dot without using a ton of your TSS loads or your expensive lead shot. It's a pretty simple process, and Greg, real quick, explain the bullseye to bolt hole mindset when we go through the sighting process. Yeah, so essentially we're gonna shoot once and then we're gonna move our point of aim to our point of impact and go from there. So it saves a lot of ammo, one or two shots and you're ready to go. Perfect, excellent. Well, let's get started with everything. All right, so we just got our new red dot mounted onto our shotgun. We got the new Defender ST series from Vortex with our Meadow Creek mount. Again, this mount's pretty interesting because you don't have to drill and tap your shotgun. As long as you have a rib shotgun, that mount will work for it. All right, so we're gonna start at 15 yards with lead, and then from there, we're gonna move over to our turkey loads. Ain't no flinch, boy. It was lead slow, there. So now we just need to mark on the target where you hit, and then we're gonna come back and we'll move the dot to it. Okay, cool. I'm breaking up four four. Oh man, that turkey's dead. Dude, I'm, I'm on this hunt with some boss ammo, man. All right, so it looks like the center of our pattern is about right there. So, look about center. Yep. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come back and put our dot here, and we're just gonna move it to there. Okay, cool. Awesome. So I'm putting the dot back on our original point of aim, and then all I need to do from there is move it to the point of impact. So essentially we know that our our dot is gonna need to move to the left, which means our point of impact needs to move to the right. So we're gonna turn the dial to the right until the dot is lined up with the, where we hit. So essentially now that we've moved our point of aim to our point of impact, we don't even really have to shoot again, but we're gonna do it anyway and prove that our process worked. Okay, awesome. So just aim at one of the other dots and it should be dead on. Okay, perfect. Well, aim for that top right dot. Busted. Knock the pallet over. Yeah. It's a hot lead load. We got it pretty close. I think we're off by about an inch. Okay. So I mean, we're pretty, I mean, the center's like right there. Yeah. Literally, we're off by. I think we're pretty good. Okay, so at, at this point, should we back up and shoot a turkey load and kind of see how it looks? Yeah, okay. I think so. Because all, right. all the every turkey load and every choke is going to shoot different. So. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. We'll switch. We'll switch out targets okay. and back up. How far do we want to shoot from? I like to go to 30 yards. Okay. I don't. I don't necessarily think you need to sight in at 40. I mean, you can, but 30, you know, you've got a round circle like this. Okay. So this That's, helps. All right. Perfect. So 30 yards we go. All right, so we move back to 30 yards. We're gonna check it with one of our turkey TSS shells and uh, just make sure the pattern's still pretty decent. Yep, so there's a there's a chance that we'll need to move it another inch or two. Every load choke will shoot differently. So check it at 30 with our turkey loads and we should be good to go. So it looks like your turkey load's hitting pretty high compared to the bird shot, which is pretty typical for a turkey load, higher velocity. So. We are going to go back to the bench, put our bread dot here, and move it to here, and we should be good to go. Yeah, perfect. Oh yeah, I think you're ready to go. Yep. Beautiful. Ew. Be a bad day to be a turkey. <laughs> put it right on the waddles. Yeah. Cool. Sweet. Yeah, that's, compared to like the, the, I guess the traditional way of just kind of shooting and, and keep adjusting and guessing yep. how much adjustment you need to make, that's a little bit easier, actually quite a bit easier. Yep, I mean, yeah, you you can just save a little bit of ammo doing that. Of course, uh, you know, eight or ten dollars a shot if you're shooting something like that. Yeah. Of course, the lead loads are a little cheaper, but it saves you a little bit there. Get fine-tuned. So that's going to wrap up this video, guys. A very easy way to go sight in your turkey loads, especially if you're using a red dot. 
Again, if you want to add a red dot to your shotgun and you don't want to drill and tap your shotgun, you can pick up one of these Meadow Creek mounts from MeadowCreekMounts.com. You can also use promo code SOUTHERN and save you a little bit of money as well on that. But the interesting thing is, again, the simplicityness of how to be able to sight in your gun, be able to add a red dot to any shotgun and get it ready to roll for turkey season. So again, turkey season is right here. You know, by the time you're all seeing this video, it is wide open throughout the southeast. So hopefully it's something y'all can add to your guns and really have a little bit more success going into this fall and be able to see a clear view when you're actually taking a shot at your turkey and not cover up the whole bird with your bead. Greg, got any final thoughts? No, I appreciate you having me. I'm glad we, we got you sighted in. You're ready to rock now. So especially that new Defender should be a good one. Yep, awesome, perfect. I right, appreciate y'all watching. Appreciate y'all listening to the podcast and you'll catch us back here on YouTube on another video from the Southern Outdoorsman Podcast. Appreciate it.